Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today is September 20th and I'm actually making chicken soup. What I didn't get from the store and what I don't really have in my garden are onions and I use onions to really make the vegetable stock. I saute them down and that gives the chicken soup a flavor that I like. So I came out into the garden and I was able to find some loose onion greens. I've chopped that up, some celery greens, but I know buried under this tomato plant. This is my second round of tomatoes. I put that in there. That's a Juliet hybrid. I planted um, elephant garlic last year in October. I'm in Maryland Zone 7 and you can buy the elephant garlic from your stores, plant it in the ground in October, and then come next year you'll have it to pull out of the garden. Now you can't see any re remains of it except for this dried stalk right here. So I know that buried down there is elephant garlic. Now that's not true garlic. It's more like a shallot, so it has that onion flavor that I want to make my soup stock. So I'm going to dig this out and show you what you can keep. And this is what it looks like prepared. This is the elephant garlic that I just took out of the garden, the jalapenos, some onion greens, and some celery leaf. This is all going to make the base of my stock for the chicken soup that I'm making so today. So I dug the corner out where I knew I had my last cloves of elephant garlic, and this is what was left. It's kind of small, but it'll be perfect for today. Since I don't have onions, this will actually make a great flavor, will add to the flavor of my uh, vegetable stock that I'm making. Most of the cloves are usually this size. You'll get three to five of them. I'm also going to be adding into the soup jalapenos. If you leave them on the vine, they will get red. They will have these little cracks in them. That's perfectly fine. They get sweeter and less hot the longer that you leave them on the vine. So that'll be a great addition to the soup. I'm also going to show you how to plant Elephant, elephant garlic right back into this spot so that if you plant this really really in October but I'm going to show you now you'll have this here in Maryland Zone 7 you'll have elephant garlic for next year. So I want to show you how to plant elephant, garden, uh, elephant garlic. It's not technically a garlic but it comes in a big bulb like garlic and the cloves are really large and I just want to show you I picked this up at Giant so you can just get the elephant garlic that's there. This process of planting is also really the same way you would plant garlic. So it comes in a big bulb and when you break off the cloves, the cloves are huge as you saw you know when I harvested it. So you get, in this one we're going to get six cloves. It's going to go into a space about this deep and the key with uh, elephant garlic or garlic shallots is you want to plant these deep enough that they don't freeze solid for several days. So for instance, I'm in Maryland Zone 7, so I'm going to plant these about two to four inches deep. That will keep them below the hard freeze line and these will do what they do over the winter and fall, which is really set roots. And then come springtime, they'll send up the shoots and I'll be waiting for the elephant garlic to mature. To set up the soil, again, Maryland Zone 7, two to four inches deep. Make sure you loosen it up nicely. What I'm going to put in here is some bone meal and the key for elephant garlic or garlic or the, uh, the bulbs that you could harvest is you really want to have some phosphorus in there. That helps with bulb development. This is bone meal. It's a 690 fertilizer. You can check out my YouTube videos to see what that means. And the reason this is upside down is actually over the winter a uh, mouse came in and chewed out the bottom. Now, how much do you put in? This is a teaspoon. I'm going to put in probably three teaspoons. You don't have to overstress with fertilizing your garden. Just don't do more than is necessary. This is an organic product, which means it has to break down in the soil with the microorganisms to really release the phosphorus and nitrogen um, to the garlic or to the plant that you're planting, or in this case, elephant garlic. Now I also have, and that again, that was organic product. This is a human made product so it's really a chemical fertilizer. It's triple phosphate and why do I have this? Simply because I did a video on it and I want to use it up. I'm not going to put that much in there because this is actually a 0450 so it's an extremely high phosphorus content and I'm just going to use that much and just sprinkle it in and that's how I'm using the chemical fertilizer. A lot of people worry that if you use a chemical fertilizer you poison your food. You don't. both. Use what's available in your area. Don't stress about it. So now that we have the cloves, the point right here is where the shoot comes out. So you're going to put these about four inches apart, sink them down into the loose soil just like that. 
and they will overwinter here. What they're going to be doing with um, the fertilizer is really basically just sitting in there and rooting out and establish a nice root system over October, November, December, January, and then February when it starts warming up you'll see the shoots start coming up. Just drop them in just like that. Cover it up. You could put, I have in here, I use mulch, so down on the other end is the mulch. Put a layer of mulch on here or wood chips to uh, keep it warm so it doesn't freeze all the way through. And remember, that's the key, is you're just planting it to a depth that your bulbs, your garlic, your elephant garlic, your shallots, don't freeze solid for an extended period of time. I'm going to put these right along here so that I know come spring where my elephant garlic is and I don't plant something on top of it. But it's that easy to do. Just pick it up from the grocery store. You can fertilize if you want to. Your, your, your raised beds or your garden beds are probably filled with enough fertilizer and enough nutrients that you don't even need to worry about it. Get it in two to four inches deep, let it go, and come spring you'll see the shoots of your garlic or your elephant garlic coming up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.